You're watching News Watch, the 5 o'clock show. The 5 o'clock show continues leading up to Fleming College Alumni Week. We have switched locations from the North End, Westmount Pharmacy, to the South End Parkway, on the Parkway, with Parker Winter Prizes and Terry Harris. Hello, Terry. Hi, Teresa. Now, uh, this space, your shop area is how, how big? We've got about 17,000 square feet right now. Now, this is a far cry from your dad's basement. Yes. 48 years ago. How did this supply part of the business start? Well, dad, uh, my dad, my grandfather, and my uncle started the business 48 years ago, uh, basically a hobby out of their basement, uh, repairing pumps and uh, components that were used in the food industry. Wow. And so now we have this place, and this machine behind us is quite interesting. Tell, can you tell me about this? Yeah, this is a CNC turning center. Uh, we use this for creating a lot of uh, round and cylindrical parts that we manufacture in-house and resell into the uh, into the food sector. And and how far uh, away are your clients? How far out do you sell or distribute? Pretty pretty much nationally oh, in Canada, cool. coast to coast, and uh, also are able to. Uh, we have some clients in the uh, northern U.S. Okay. Now this is a family business. Yes. And uh, did you always know that you would work with uh, Harker Enterprises, or was that up in the air for not, part of it? Not really. Nothing's given uh, these days. Uh, you know when you're. Uh, in college and looking for a career you really don't know what you want to do and uh, the uh, idea certainly was in the back background but uh, we got an education uh, my myself and my sister also did the same kind of thing and uh, we went elsewhere to work for a time period after school and uh, kind of got some experience and figured out what we really wanted to do okay. and then uh, we were lucky enough to uh, have an opportunity in the business and to help make it grow tell me about uh the program that you took at Fleming College uh, and why you took that particular program and wh when was this? Oh, this is a long time ago, back, okay. in, uh, back in about 1980 vintage. Um, I, was, uh, I took an electromechanical engineering technology program. Um, again, not really geared towards management but more geared towards uh, the mechanics and how things work and things of that nature. I was always interested in equipment, machinery. Okay. I grew up in an environment with that all around me. Uh, so uh, that's, that's the, the course that I ended up taking. It was a three-year course and uh, I found it very good and used those skills quite a bit. Your sister uh, is also a Fleming graduate? Yes, she is, Kathy. She uh, went to uh, Fleming and graduated uh, in a uh, business um, a course in marketing and she's uh, joined our company as well. So what's been the latest thing for you and your business as you operate this uh, Harco Enterprises uh, on behalf of the family as Vice President? Uh, I think the biggest thing is trying to keep on top of the software that's uh, constantly changing um, and the technology and trying to uh, yes. uh, purchase and, and utilize the technology to make it uh, profitable. Because you're in a position where your clients are looking to you Yes, To definitely. be on the cutting edge of technology to provide them with what well, they want. Well, of course, and uh, the economics basically dictate the market. So if you're not competitive and using something that's relatively cutting edge to do proper things to keep the cost down, you, you won't be selling anything. That's the reality of today's business. All right. We're going to move from the Harco supply part of Harco Enterprises over to Harco Plastics in a moment. The 5 o'clock show continues its ramp up to Fleming College Alumni Week, which is the 13th to the 17th. We are at Harco Enterprises, family-run business that boasts four alumni from Fleming College. And uh, Harco Enterprises is the classics division. A lot of the things here are actually going to be shipped to the United States. The 5 o'clock show continues. We are at Harco Enterprises, and we've moved from the Harco Supply Division here on uh, the Parkway over to Harco Plastics. How many... If you can even, I don't even know if you can put a number on this, Terry. How many different types of plastic products are you able to make? Well, it, yeah, it's a very hard thing to, to put a <laughs> finger on. Uh, the quantity of what we make are in uh, tens of millions per piece of various things per year. The, the variety is almost endless. Uh, we make a lot of things from swizzle sticks, drink stirs to uh, uh, spoons, uh, cutlery, uh, industrial components such wow. as gun components um, and things that would be found in, in some household items. What does uh, an Ontario town know about kiwi spoons? 
Well, probably not an awful lot until I, uh, we got into this. This uh, in particular, we're running on one of these presses here. Um, we have an order right now for 1.1 million kiwi spoons. 1.1 million kiwi spoons. I didn't even know you needed a spoon to eat a kiwi. Well, I've been doing this is, it wrong all this time. <laughs> this is uh, an item that we're doing for a marketing company. They're going to California. Basically, uh, this is the way they come off the machine. This is the item that we actually are oh, selling. Look, you have a knife on one side. Yeah, and a specialty uh, design scoop on the other. And uh, it's uh, again being sold in some kind of a promotional or, or a uh, on pack to uh, one of our end users. And you were able to, this, this contract is in Canada and not overseas. That's correct. We're making them here and they're going to California. And uh, yeah, it's a competitive situation, but we're able to, uh, you know, coupled with quick turnaround. The ability to make our own molds and tooling in-house and to do it fast, that's the next thing. Is delivery is critical on these things. Of course. I remember I remember a few years ago getting the news release about the nature's plast. Yes. So um, in a world of where people are in some cases trying to fight plastics, tell us about this product that you you've developed and are working on here in Peterborough? Well, this uh, this material that we're using, is, we call it Nature's Plast. It's a uh, biodegradable and compostable material to uh, ASTM standards. Rulers, what is this? Shoe, a shoehorn, oh, okay. uh, which can be a custom embossed. You know, cutlery, there's a small knife that we've got. But that's perfect that that can be composted. Does this need, like, special compost? Uh, basically, it has to go through an industrial compost facility. You okay. can't really just throw them in your blue box. They've got to be treated properly. But they will, within 120 days, compost. What are they made out of? Uh, largely plant, uh, plant starches and things of that nature. It's, it's basically a renewable resource. Wow.